Hi, I'm Laura Ash, clinical herbalist and owner of the Scarlet Sage Herb Company in San Francisco. I'm a mother of two, and I'm really excited to share with you today our daily natural beauty regime. We're gonna make a body oil to give ourselves some self-love every single day on our bellies, if you're pregnant, on your hips, postpartum, anytime that you need it. We're also gonna make some face serums today, so I'm really excited to share with you. body oil. And why are body oils important? Our body is made of oil. Our skin is made of oil. And so the more we use oil on our skin, the more hydrated we're going to be as we age, as we stretch, as we grow into the women we want to be as, as we age. Um, and so we want to age naturally and beautifully, of course. And we can do that with organic essential oils and organic body oils. So I get to teach you how to make some today, which are really affordable and actually pretty easy to find. Um, first, we have calendula oil. Now this is an infused oil, which means the calendula flowers that are really good at reducing scar tissue and actually good at reducing any discoloration of the skin. So wonderful for stretch marks, wonderful for any scars, especially if you had a cesarean um, or any type of lovely stretch marks when you're pregnant, it's great for the breasts, it's great for the hips, it's great for the belly. Um, this is infused in olive oil, and so what they do is they put the calendula flowers in olive oil and leave it there for a couple weeks. I can teach you how to do that another time. But we're going to use calendula oil today, which you can find online. We sell it on our website, but you can also find it sometimes in your natural food store. Sesame oil. Now I'm using sesame, and this is the not the toasted Asian sesame. I'm using this because it's so calming and nourishing to the nervous system. We're all stressed out, much more than we give ourselves credit for half the time. So our sesame oil is going to be a nice nourishing, toning oil for our skin, but also our nervous system. And then we're going to use some essential oils. So I'm using all the essential oils that are safe for when you're pregnant or you're lactating and nursing, as well as um, if you're trying to get pregnant or if, you've already, if you already have children. Um, so we're gonna use frankincense. Frankincense, we're gonna use a small amount of it. It's a lovely essential oil. It's actually resin that they um, take the essential oil from, this lovely shrub. It's good for cell turnover. So really good if you're working with any type of skin that needs some rejuvenation, which who doesn't? Um, lavender Absolute, and I'm using the Absolute because it's extracted as the full range of lavender, so it's going to smell more of like the products that you find in the store with lavender scent than just the lavender essential oil. And we're going to use chamomile, Roman chamomile. It's very calming and nourishing, once again, supporting our nervous system. And then last but definitely not least is Rose, Bulgarian Rose Absolute. Um, it's a lovely rose, and it is that full spectrum of the rose, and the Absolute, again, pulls the full spectrum of the rose. So we're going to make it and I'm excited to make it for you today. This is a six ounce bottle. It's just one that we have in the store here in San Francisco. Um, you are welcome to grab any bottle you have. Make sure it's really clean and dry if it's something you're using over again. So we're going to just do half and half calendula and sesame. And I'm using three ounces of the calendula. This is going to be very easy to make. Use a funnel if you want. I've been doing this a while, so I can do this without a funnel. But a funnel is a good option for you if you're someone that hasn't poured oils from another bottle before or feel like you just want to be extra clean. So this is three ounces of the calendula oil, and then we're going to use three ounces of the sesame. Just half and half. It doesn't have to be perfect. And if you like one more than the other, you can definitely do another one. But I'm using some simple oils, once again, to make it really nourishing for most people that will be watching this. And then I have frankincense, and we're only going to use a small amount of essential oils because essential oils are strong and they want to be used with respect. Um, so we're only going to use uh, two drops of frankincense. Oops, that was three. That's fine. <laughs> a few drops of lavender absolute. Now, lavender absolute is going to be much thicker than the lavender essential oil that you're used to if you do have lavender. And then the Roman chamomile, we're going to use a few drops. And our Bulgarian rose, I love so much. It's quite beautiful. We're going to use at least four drops. 
Definitely add more essential oil if you are not pregnant or lactating or nursing so you can have a lot more scent to it. So I like to give it a lot of love and some magic when I mix oils. And there you are, there's your body oil. So feel free to use it as a pump. You could definitely use it all over your hands every day, over your body. Yes, that's perfect. And that's the body oil for you today. I hope you enjoy it. Feel free to rub, rub it all over your belly. You can use it twice a day, morning and night, over your whole body, give yourself some self massage. And then yeah, enjoy it. So we're gonna talk about how oil is important for your skincare and your face care routine. It is important to have oil as our moisturizer on our skin as we age because our body and our skin is made of oil. If we don't have enough oil on our skin, our body is going to produce more oil. And so often when people have a history of acne or hormonal acne or pregnancy acne, they're trying to strip their skin of oil. And yes, there could be an excessive oil piece, but it's usually a hormonal imbalance, which we could talk about another time. But actually having oil in your skin, the right oil without clogging your pores, pores will actually help it heal and reduce any discoloration or scar tissue. So we have a couple serums here at Scarlet Sage that we've made, and then I'll show you how you can basically make one yourself. The first one I recommend is the Sensitive Serum, and this has rosehip seed oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, apricot seed oil, rose absolute, Roman chamomile, and vitamin E. And this one is fine for people um, getting pregnant, people that are in their first trimester, people that have highly sensitive skin, maybe get sunburned easily, or eczema and psoriasis. This is the most gentle serum that you can put on your skin. And so you would use this morning and night after you wash, and you could exfoliate once a couple times a week if needed, and then use this serum at the end after a hydrosol or after a toner. You could even add a little water to it to make it go, to go on. Rub it in um, circles, massage it on your face. It'll be, trust me, you're gonna love it. The next one with a, that's a little more active is the Night Serum. This has the same base oils or the carrier oils I mentioned. It also has evening primrose oil and it has carrot root extract and helichrysum. And carrot root extract is a natural vitamin A. As we know, that's important for cell turnover. That's what Retin-A is. It's a very strong synthetic version of vitamin A. This is the carrot root, which is their, our natural version of it. And the helichrysum is also called Immortel. It's specific for, also for cell turnover, but helps reduce any scar tissue and discoloration. This one will be really good for second and third trimester, and then anybody nursing or lactating post baby. Um, really important for that, maybe that hyperpigmentation that you experience during pregnancy or uh, nursing. But to make a simple one for yourself, especially if you're on a budget or if you have some of these ingredients near you, you would use jojoba oil, rosehip oil. I would use the half and half, whatever size you make. Let's say you make a one ounce. You could use a half ounce of jojoba, half ounce of rosehip seed, and then use three drops of Roman chamomile essential oil, once again, save if you're pregnant or trying, and then four drops of the Rose Absolute. That is the most simple thing you can do. Rosehip seed oil is gonna be high in vitamin C, it gets down into deeper tissue, it helps reduce any discoloration, again, hyperpigmentation and inflammation, and the jojoba is actually natural wax. It helps our skin stay moisturized throughout the day, but it also has the same pH as our skin. So again, really good for everyday kind of nourishing and moisturizing, and that's our face serum. I'm gonna walk you through my daily routine when I was first pregnant with my son and pregnant with my daughter, and what I recommend for most moms going through pregnancy and post-pregnancy. So if you are pregnant, this pregnancy tea is unbelievable. It's a very old European recipe that we've actually been using for over 20 years. And it gives you all the nutrition and the uterine toning that you need when you're pregnant. It helps with any water retention. It's a wonderful tea and it's delicious. We have people obsessed with it that come their entire pregnancy and drink two to four cups a day and have wonderful healthy babies. So I would definitely recommend drinking this in the morning and noon and night. 
If you are nursing or lactating, this lactation tea helps with production of milk. If you are someone that's producing too much or have overproduction issues, I wouldn't recommend this tea for you. I definitely haven't had an overproduction issue, so this was not the tea for me. But keeping doing your pregnancy tea during your lactation years is really important. The prenatal that I recommend most out of anything because of my own personal experience, I was very nauseous with both of my pregnancies, is the noon chapter prenatal. I did not get nauseous while taking it. I actually couldn't eat very much in both of my pregnancies. And I had this every day, three times a day, and had very healthy, almost eight pound babies. So I do rely on this to, for most moms, and I did take it post baby as well for at least a couple years to help, again, my cell nutrition. It's absolutely wonderful. I do recommend an omega-3, and this is, again, that fish oil, the really healthy oils for our skin, our nutrition. It helps brain development for the baby. It helps your brain as well, because the baby will take what, it's need, what it needs, including stuff from your own body, and that includes when that brain fog starts happening, that's actually usually the fat coming out, and your body and your brain need fat. If you're nursing, especially if you're nursing, you need to do an omega-3. So this is the prenatal DHA. DHA is just a type of omega-3 that's really good for brain development. I would definitely recommend this on a daily basis. Then you get to do collagen. Why is collagen important? It helps with all of that, once again, dehydration, but gives us our cell nutrition, our cell moisturizer. There's a lot of collagens out there. They're really popular, thank goddess. But we have our beauty collagen that you can add to water. There's so many different kinds. This one's the melon, mint, strawberry, lemon, um, cucumber, aloe, lavender, lemon, and then just the unflavored. A lot of people put unflavored in different soups or different teas just to really get their collagen on a daily basis, which is great. So I would highly recommend doing some sort of collagen supplement or some sort of collagen water throughout the day. It will help hopefully make you feel really good. If you do become nauseous with collagen, obviously stop taking that. Um, we have our body oil here, massage belly, massage hips, massage body at least twice a day, really getting your nervous system calm and nourished but your skin really hydrated. And then after you take a shower, wash your face in the morning and at night we're going to do our serum, our oil serum and then put your SPF on over that afterwards.